Hey Axel, what you doing? Sniffing around at the new house? Oh, yes he is. Welcome everybody to 95 Summit Street. Hey buddy, come here. It's home sweet home. Actually, defog the lens a little here. So, you gotta hear this nice little turnaround. Any better? Yeah, I think that's a little clear. Sorry guys. So we got a nice little turnaround, which will be really slick, but we just got about an inch and a half of rain yesterday, so the driveway is super muddy. Come spring, before we get this reappraised by the bank, we are going to gravel all of this. So we're gonna put down probably 18 to 20 yards of gravel, and it'll look really, really nice. So again, forgive the mud, but you see here we got the house, we got the, the barn, or the carriage house, if you will. Axel, come on. I'm just gonna kind of walk you around, give you a quick little tour, and we'll go inside. So this is our neighbor's house, by the way. This is where I parked the trailer, and this is an apple tree that does produce, so a lot of apples on the ground. Then back down here, you can see there's actually a basement to the garage, which is really kind of cool. So there's a little water problem. I gotta install a uh, sump pump with a float because the groundwater comes up. I checked it yesterday during the full rain. There was no water in it at all. Oh, hi, Axel. Don't you wanna play? Yeah, you do, buddy. Oh, boy. Arf. Oh, he's so happy. Oh, he's picking up an old piece of shingle. Yeah, buddy. So anyway, this property was originally three acres. Unfortunately, when we looked at it, it was still listed as three acres, but we knew that they'd subdivided it. Um, and unfortunately, the land had sold the day before we put our offer in, or their offer had gone in and was accepted. So the, the land originally went back about to that house you can kind of see in the distance. So it was a three acre lot. As it stands now, what we have is 0.69 or 0.7 acres. So we own from about this little stake here by the tree with the flag on it, all the way over through this bush. You can see the pink flag on the bush. Axel, come on, buddy, what's this? Oh, here's a softball. Found that in the basement. Oh, sorry, buddy. It's in the thorns. I'll get it. We own all the way over to that pink stake. And then, so where the new driveway is going to be for the next house is going to go down through these brambles, back through there, and then they're going to build somewhere back there. But about half or more of that back there is wetland, so they're going to be a little restricted as where they can place their house, which... Yeah, we'll see who winds up behind us, but until then we got a nice wooded neighbor. It's coming up this side. You can tell the house needs a little TLC. So this, we've got this shed here, which currently we have a lot of excess building material. Um, and additionally, we've got our, our mower and such in there. And then the house had a couple different heating systems. It had an oil burner. Um, it had a coal stove in the basement and it also had a kerosene stove in the kitchen. And the way that they, they handled the kerosene was they had this tank out back sitting kind of up against the, the three season porch that you see there on the side. And that tank, they would then manually take a jug, fill it up, carry it into the kitchen and connect it to the, to the kerosene stove. And that's what they would cook a little bit on and then also heat the house with. So a little bit nasty. We had zero plans on actually doing that. So. The tank came out and turns out to get rid of them, you have to clean them out. So we cut the thing open and we've been using it as a fire pit to get rid of all the brush. Which you see brush and some old old wood that came out of the house, we've been burning it rather than paying to get rid of it. So it's okay there. All right, now here's where the fun begins. We're gonna go inside. Forgive the mess, we just ripped all of the existing plumbing out yesterday. So no more waste pipe at all. A lot of the copper lines have been removed. We're redoing it entirely with PEX. Axel, come on, buddy. <laughs> Axel doesn't love the construction zone. He's a little confused by why it's noisy, why it's messy. He thinks it's a little scary, but he doesn't mind coming in when we're not doing stuff. So, entering right here, you see we've got the, this whole little shedded area. This is the mud room or this was the mud room 